Hey folks, um, this is a quick video that uh, is probably overdue, but um, about three, four months ago, I tried Salvia with a few friends, and I never really made a video about it. I didn't really think too much about it. At the time, it raised some interesting ideas. I was reading uh, Whitley Strieber's Communion, and just wondering what the hell that's all about, and um, that evening I just decided, you know what, we've I've been curious about this for a while. My friend finally got her hands on it and we're just like, alright, let's just try it. So, um the experience was almost like not just letting you know, this is just my story and my thoughts on the whole the whole thing. The experience was almost like falling asleep. You don't really know when you went into this other dream world. But um you only recognize you do later on when you suddenly realize, you suddenly realize I'm, I'm, not me anymore. It's it's hard to explain. It's like, your consciousness suddenly just becomes a living ecosystem of all different types of things. It's very organic looking. Um, for me, I ended up being in some kind of strange forest or something, and. At first it was more abstract, weird shapes moving about, and I wasn't really thinking about it. Eventually these shapes took a form and then a bigger perspective, and then I was a tree. Um, and to say that, uh, it's a little crazy to actually to say something, I was a tree. Um, but uh, at least it seemed like I was having the experience of being a tree, a very big old tree. And it was very kind of, I wouldn't say laggy, but you experience time very differently, and I experienced that even though I didn't have a pair of eyes, I, I could still see, I was almost like almost like an omnipotent tree that could sort of sense everything around it, like a very, very sensitive system, and um, apparently I, I, I just kind of lied down in this, during this whole experience, I was lying down vertical, um, horizontal, but I felt like I was vert vertical. And it was a very brief experience, only a few minutes of just being this tree and being this thing. And my my friend was rolling around having some other different experience, um, but uh, that 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 I found to be very fascinating to be able to be a conscious being, but not even be who you used to be, just somebody different. And it and it made me thought. I think is this, is this what reincarnation is like? I mean, can you just fall asleep and wake up as something else? And if so, then um, maybe waking up in this reality is sort of like waking up and thinking, ah, oh, this is just a dream. Because towards the end, I began to snap out of it, I guess you could say, and be like, oh, this is okay, this is very weird. I, I know that I'm also me as well. I have this other body, you, the, this body, and I'm not just a tree. Uh, it, it seemed almost... Uh, schizophrenic in a way, but in, a, in another way, it was it was very harmonic. This, it was a deep, resounding um, presence that consciousness in, is in all things, but it's more concentrated and more sensitive, more focal in particular areas, like in living organisms. Um, it just made me think consciousness is abiding. And even though these ideas weren't necessarily new, to experience them is very interesting. Um, I don't really recommend trying salvia or any hallucinogen for anybody. Um, I, I don't, I'm not against it, but you definitely have to be careful, you have to know what you're getting into, you have to be with the right people. Um, it's not for everybody, that's for sure. Uh, I was luckily able to just walk away from it in a contemplative manner. It was very fascinating though, um, and yeah, going back to Pinchbeck, I'm not Pinchbeck, um, Whitley Strieber, but uh, Pinchback mentions this too. Hallucinogens. Um, the whole experience just made me think, uh, alien abductions, what the hell is that all about? Are, are there dimensional beings that I experience some kind of interdimensional being? This this tree and the things that were around me? Um, maybe alien abductions are some kind of strange altered state rather than just some kind of hallucinogenic experience. Um, some kind of altered state in an alternate reality. It's possible, I don't know. Uh, but I guess the only other thing I would like to add 
to this crazy video is that um, it, it also made me begin to think that maybe consciousness is collectively shared by forests and plants and animals uh, more specifically forests and this kind of like it's kind of like a consciousness spread almost like a like a haze of consciousness that is, is embodies something and then plants can come and go but there's a general consciousness that's there uh, and and it's kind of funny because the other day and this is why I made this video the other day I went to the uh, bookstore and I almost bought a book uh, by the guy Strassman who, who yeah. wrote the DMT spirit molecule he wrote uh, a new book with a few other people and I forgot the name of it exactly it's, it's, it's something called um, visiting worlds or visiting alien worlds something like that it sounded a little weird at first but I picked it up I started looking through it and I found a section in the book that talked about um, a shaman who commune, communed with plants he, he described this cornfield as this great this greater consciousness and it's very a collective entity almost that's made up of all these smaller bits you know each bit of corn in a way and he, it was aware that it had a role and a place in the world and it was aware of when plants got cut down and how the whole consciousness kind of reverberated when something got hurt um, so this thing it may sound crazy but it just totally reminded me of, of my own experience um, so I guess the question is is this just a result of hallucinogenic uh, combinations with the brain chemistry uh, is this just sort of some kind of inner thing that really has no reality or meaning outside of the experience is it just an illusion or uh, and almost like a projection thing I mean I, I guess it's it's not exactly human centric but conscious centric do we are we impressing impressing con consciousness on all things or maybe do all things have some degree of consciousness uh, I'm inclined to believe the latter just because it uh, I mean, I'm just going with intuition here, but um, yeah, this book reminded me of my experience, and it was very fascinating. So um, yeah, so thanks for listening, and your thoughts, your ideas, your reflections on these sort of very uh, intricate and fascinating concepts. Thanks for listening.